Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to talk about the best Python libraries for processing or working with PDF. And by best, I mean popular and also easy to use for different purposes. I just published this article on my website, poppythonology.eu. You can just check it out. You can subscribe to my newsletter. And I'm going to send you once a week only Python related uh, articles with all the code snippets here. So for now, I have mentioned PyPDF, PDF Plumber, and my favorite, PyMUPDF. I've saved the best for last. You can see an introduction here. Then why PyPDF, for example, if you want to um, use some simple extraction of texts and images, you can use PyPDF. And I've, you can see I've included all the code. And here is the form for subscription to my newsletter. I really appreciate it if you do. Then PDF Plumber, how is that different? Obviously you can extract text, but you can also extract tables and that's the advantage. Then PyMU PDF, why this one? Well, I love this one, not only because you can extract text, but also you can extract the metadata, table of contents, also convert your PDF file into an image, and also uh, you can get links from a PDF file. You can, um, you can print all the links which, are, which exist on a PDF file. So for this tutorial, I'm using this PDF file. It's just like a couple of uh, internal links to different sections of this text. It's just random stuff. And then I have a link to PyPDF, for example. I have a table here and an image, another link here, and that's it, just two pages. And I'm gonna use um, Google Colab <clears throat> to write my code. And I can see I have also drag and dropped that PDF file here. Okay, let's start with PyPDF. There are different versions of it, PyPDF2, PyPDF4. So for now, I'm just going to extract the text and images from a file and this works okay. So pip install PDF, PyPDF, and I've used exclamation mark because that's how you do it in Google Lab. Then I have imported PDF Reader from PyPDF and run. Okay. Now the first thing we need to do is to create a reader object because we are going to read some uh, file. And what is the file? So we are going to ask the PDF reader that we just imported to write the file, to read the file .pdf. This is our PDF file. So now we have an object reader, which have access to all the methods uh, from this PDF reader. Perfect. What can I do with it? Well, I can see the length of the, the pages of this PDF. So I can simply print uh, the length of the reader.pages and, well, not nine, but this and one more here. Okay, oh, one more there, here. Now, if I run this, you can see two means two pages I have. So dot pages property, we added to this reader object and the length of it, that's it. Now, if I want to grab the first page, for example, of uh, this. So I can say page is equal to reader, reader dot pages. And I can pass in an index from zero means the first page and one means a second page. So I'm gonna have access to the first page in our file. What can I do with it? I can extract the text. So I will print page that we just grabbed and use the extract text method with parentheses and let's print it and you can see two refers to the number of pages and this is the first page into text awesome you can see this was a table that we had which has not been inserted correctly this will be corrected using pdf plumber you will see okay so this is how the table was. All right, so now we have extracted the uh, text from the first page, that is index zero. 
So how do I do it if I wanted to uh, go through every page and extract the text of every page? Well, we can simply use a for loop. I can say for i or for page, for example, in. So for, for what? For i in, I would specify a range because here I need to put in a number, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I want to know, first of all, how many pages there are. And that means I want to know the, the reader.page, the length of that file. So now this is, this is 2 for my file. For range, for i in range 2, that i would be 0 and then i would be 1. Perfect. So now I have numbers to fill in this. So I'm going to copy this part here and instead of 0, I'm going to pass in i. So page is going to be the first time, the first page, the second time, the second page. Now what I can print is going to be page dot extract, wait for it, yes, image. So extract text. Now I will have to also comment this out so that I don't see these text here. Now I'm going to run this and let's see the two pages appearing. Perfect. So I have access to the two pages of my PDF, as you can see. Perfect. Okay, so that was for the pages. Now what about images? Because here you saw that I have an image. How can I grab that image? So what I can do, I'm going to use for, let's say I, and I here would be just the image object, for I in page dot images. So this means for I in page dot images. So now I'm going to go through the images in my page, and page here means page zero, right? Index zero, page one. So it's going to go through the images. Uh, and then what's going to see is I'm going to, to find the image and write it and save it here. So that's why I'm going to use a with open statement, which says open that I dot name. So grab the name of that thing and use this mode of WB writing by binary if you don't know what I'm doing so I'm just it's file handling in Python I have a tutorial for that that is you open a file to write on it and you're just going to refer to it as whatever for example F for now and I'm gonna write f.write, I'm going to write on that f, the data of that image. So that is how it works. So now, again, I'm going to go through the images of the page and I'm going to open the that single image, the name of it, I'm going to write on it the data. So it will appear here if I run this. If I close it and let me just open it again and you can see X16. So this is the name of it. Now you can see this is it. It is too big though, but you can you know what I mean. So that's the image that we just got. Okay, so that is how you can use also PyPDF to extract images. Now, what about PDF Plumber? So I am going to use PDF Plumber specifically for extracting tables. So you can do whatever I did now with uh, the, the text with it, but I'm going to use this specifically uh, PDF Plumber only for the tables. So now I have run this already and installed it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say with PDF Plumber dot open. So I'm going to uh, open that PDF plumber. Uh, using PDF plumber, I'm going to open one file, which is file.pdf. And I'm going to open it as just F, referring to it as F. And what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to go through the pages of this and find the tables. So I would say for I n f dot pages, 
So that so this f, which means the this file and the pages of that file, for every page in it, I'm gonna print something. I'm gonna print that i, which is a single page, dot extract underscore not text but tables. Yes, it's a method. So now let's print this and you can see I have two pages and for every page, the first page I have this table, it's a lucky Python list and the second page doesn't have any tables so that's why it's empty. And you can see it's actually here. The first page we have this uh, table. So PDF Plumber is a great uh, library if you want to use uh, use it to extract tables. You could also extract text just as I did here before. But now I'm gonna get to the last one, the um, PyMUPDF, and this is the import name fits. Apparently this is a kind of interest, this has some interesting history. So you can go to the documentation and check why the name fits was chosen. All right, now that I've installed them and I have imported that, now the first thing you need is to create a document object. I'm just gonna call it doc, is going to be fits.open and the name of our PDF file, which is file.pdf. So this is how you uh, create a document object of your PDF. You could also say fits.document then uh, file at PDF, but this is what I do. Now that I have access to the methods of this document. So the first one that I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna use doc.pagecount, just to see how many pages there are. And you can see two pages, okay, nothing special. Now, another thing is to grab the metadata, like the author and all that. So I'm gonna print doc.meta, no, metadata, yes, metadata. And let's see, so you can see we have the format of the PDF, there's a title which is untitled, author, no one, subject, nothing, and creator, and you can see here Google Doc has rendered that as well, and there is no encryption, perfect. This is amazing. So now we have this metadata. What else do we need? Well, how do we get the pages? So I would say page is equal to doc.load underscore page and the index of zero. That is how I get access to like page one. And if I wanna grab the text of page one, I can simply say print page dot get underscore text. It's a method, so parentheses, and you can see I have it and the table is not as good as PDF Plumber though. But yeah, this is simple, nothing special yet. Now, what I wanna do, I wanna turn this PDF into an image. So, what I can do is, well, let's just close this off, and right here, I'm gonna create a variable called pix is equal to that page that we just created up there, like page one here. And I'm gonna say dot get underscore pics. Do I have any suggestions? Pics map. Yes. So pics map. It's a method. So page dot get underscore pics map. Now that we have this, I'm gonna save it somewhere. So I'm gonna say pics dot save. Under which name shall we save it? Let's have a um, f string here. I'm gonna say page underscore and inside curly braces because I'm gonna use some Python stuff here. I'm gonna say page.number. And page.number is another property that gives us the number of that page. So it would be page one, for example, uh, dot on a PNG. Or page two dot PNG, something like that. So that is how we are going to save that image. Now I'm going to run this and let's see what happens here. Let's just close it and open it again. And page zero PNG. So that is 
our page one. Let's run, look. You can see now we have this image. This is an image of our first page. Perfect. So uh, what about all the pages? Well, I think you could guess that you can use a for loop to go through them and uh, just uh, print all of them. I have mentioned that in the on my website. What about the links now? So we can also grab the links. Let's just save them inside this variable links and the page that we just created dot get underscore links. And now let's print links and let's see. Look at this. So two kinds of links have been recognized. One is internal link that is uh, right here. For example, like this is a link that gets you to, I don't know, the second part. This is one link. Another one is like an external link, like this one. So you can see that we have a list and it's a dictionary here. Um, all the way, kind one, kind one, until we get to this one here, which is kind two, pythonology.eu. And this is considered as kind two of links. So now you can see we have the links here. Now, if you want to get grab the uh, links and all pages, again, use a for loop, go through the pages and grab the links. And I have that code also on my website. So you can go and check it out. I hope you like this video. It was very simple. And um, if you did, please leave a like or a comment down below and check out my website. You're not gonna regret it. Thank you very much for watching and listening.